Time now to go for gold in the compound men's under 21 competition at the Indoor Archery World Series Youth Finals as Denmark takes on Italy. Compound men's under 21 gold medal match, a contest between Niklas Bridal Bridald from Denmark and Fabrizio Aloisi from Italy. Ranked fifth and 11th. These two have made it through to the gold medal match. Fast start has proven to be the telling sign here in these medal matches in Nîmes. Bredal Brild to shoot first for gold. So matching each other through the first three arrows, 29 apiece provisionally the, the uh, first arrow from Bredal Brilt going into the nine, the middle arrow for Aloisi going into the nine. We do of course have to wait for confirmation of that. As we look down the target, or down the range, we can see the uh, target judge just looking at those arrows. Well, looks like uh, the first arrow from uh, Bredal Brild has been marked up to 10 points. So it could be a perfect start from him. And I think you can just see a, a little smile creeping across the face of the Dane. It's been confirmed. 30 plays 29. Aloisi will shoot first in the second end. The response from Aloisi, a nine, a low nine in the bottom right target. Nine. Nine. 
still low. So again, solid stuff from Bredo Brild. The Dane needs 59 at 57. John, sometimes measures are absolutely critical, but I think that first uh, arrow in the first end was measured as a nine and then marked up to a 10. Not necessarily expected. Uh, I actually thought it was. <laughs> like that. There you go. Yeah, I know. I, I just... I just get, I can gauge the width and stuff. But yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It, the angle of it looking in and the camera looking up, it probably did look further and it was. You saw the judge take a really good look at his magnifying glass. But yeah, I was expecting to see that go up to a, up to a 10. I feel Aloisi, if you watch him, he's starting to look frustrated. He's shooting arrows that he thinks are definitely going to be in the 10 and they're not. And if he lets his head drop, that'll be it'll be a really long last nine hours for him. So it's key, I think, that Aloisi gets what he thinks he's going to shoot the send. Pressure on the Italian at the start of the third end. He trails by two points. Frustration creeping in. Another one low. John thinks that's uh, a 10. Ten. No doubt about that one. So two arrows, potentially uh, nines for Bridal Brilt. And that's certainly what Aloisi would have uh, wanted. Provisionally 88 plays 86, but we wait for the measure. John, again, you immediately uh, gave the up signal for the first arrow for the Dane. Uh, what about that last arrow? Do you think that's gone in as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the perfect time for the no, camera. Oh, that was. Uh, yeah. No, the first one, same hole as that that very first arrow, but that last one. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> no, there you go. It was marked down. You were spot on. It's an 88 plays 86, but the measure happening now on the right hand target. That one's a little bit more clear. So both shooting 29s, and so the two-point lead remains. Fabrizio Aloisi shooting, well, as you say, John, with a bit of uh, frustration. It looked like a bit of anger, actually. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really important that he felt some of his shots were tens when he made them, and they're not there. It's obviously a bit of tension being out there in this kind of environment, cameras, lighting, people watching. You just, it depends if you've had exposure to that environment before. Just the smallest bit of tension in the front hand can make the biggest difference on the impact of the arrow on the target. Two points to the difference. Two ends to go. Aloisi will shoot first. Needs to start hitting the tens.
glimmer of hope, perhaps. What a time to put down a 30. Starting to feel a little bit of pressure now, Breed Albrild. Scoreboard has him as a, a perfect as well. 118 plays 116, but that first arrow. John, you're the expert. I don't think he's got it this time. Well, perfect for uh, Fabrizio Aloisi. It looks like that first arrow has been measured as a 10 for Bridal Brild. You can see a little cheeky smile on his face, and it is confirmed as a perfect score for both of them. Uh, what a time for a measure to go your way. Bridal Brild perhaps feeling. A little bit of pressure there. I think he's had a couple of arrows marked up from nines to tens that he wasn't expecting. And that's the difference between the two. Fifth and final end here in the compound men's under 21 gold medal match. Fabrizio Aloisi of Italy shooting first, trailing by two. Nine. And that provides a golden opportunity to extend the lead. <laughs> Another tight one. Now they're making this very interesting. Ten. Two of the four hours certainly looking like they might need a measure. So provisional 143. Nine. And that one going low for a provisional 146. I think uh, whatever the measures here, there's a breathing space for the Dane, but we do need to see what the target judge says here on the measures. We have it as a one, in fact, 147 to 144. The measures have all been going the Danes way. So one has been marked up to a 10. That means a 29 for Bridal Brild. And a 147 it is. So confirmation of gold for Niklas Bridal Brild from Denmark. He wins the match 147 to 144 over Italy's Fabrizio Aloisi. It was a tense and nervy encounter, but the Dane has come out as the champion here in Nîmes.